clerk just trying to get home after his shift to a 17-year-old stepping in to protect her pregnant sister. Those are two of the victims in a string of subway attacks in recent days. And this comes, as Governor Hochul says, she's come up with a strategy to get this violence under control. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has the story. The latest attack happened here at the 168th Street Station when police say a female suspect started a fight with a pregnant woman and the would-be victim's sister stepped in. After being left with scratches and bruises and too scared to show her face, the 17-year-old has a clear message. Taking the trains right now is the worst thing that someone can go through because it's something that we are not safe in the train station. It was around 8 p.m. at the 168th Street Station, Washington Heights, Sunday, when she says a woman, unprovoked, came after her sister, who is eight months pregnant. She pushed my sister really hard. She was about to fall. A dispute started and the 17-year-old, along with her boyfriend, fought back. She she grabbed me by the hair and she was pulling my hair and pushing me in the back. Her sister is okay. Police say the thief took off with the boyfriend's cell phone and that wasn't the only violent subway crime over the weekend. That been too much. 64-year-old Abu Khan is now recovering at home in Queens after an unprovoked attack Sunday afternoon at Penn Station. Police say this is the person who went after the postal clerk just trying to get home from work. He kicked me in my back and I threw out and fall down to the track. I said, I can die any time. Penn Station is also where police say this man made anti-gay remarks and then attacked his 27 year old man with a box cutter on friday we will make people feel more safe with police with some more police on the subway station yes people want to see that governor kathy hochel says she plans on making an announcement on wednesday about new strategies to fight violence in transit that as nypd data shows subway crime is up about 13 percent compared to this time last year a number causing concerns for subway riders including this teenager whose daily commute is now marked by fear. Now I feel more afraid that something is gonna, something worse is going to happen to me. Police say the suspects involved in all three crimes are on the run and the victims involved have minor injuries. In Washington Heights, Naveen Dhaliwal.